Though no local athletes are playing in the big game tomorrow, Kern County has ties to this year's Super Bowl along with Super Bowl's past. Wasco native Carl Smith is the quarterback coach for the Seattle Seahawks. He's been with the team since 2011, helping Russell Wilson propel into NFL stardom. He's the first quarterback in league history to make two Super Bowl appearances in his first three seasons. Now as for the Patriots, former Cal State Bakersfield wrestler Stephen Neal won three Super Bowl championships with New England in the early 2000s. Now retired from the NFL, Neal is a family man back in his hometown of San Diego. But the resume he built as a roadrunner wrestler is what helped launch his NFL career. Well, I always dreamed to play football and I've learned you never close doors on your dreams. For former Cal State Bakersfield wrestler Stephen Neal, that dream came true in a big way. His journey to the NFL might not have been conventional, but it is inspirational. God really comes out in the story because how is how can a wrestler go to a football team and then the football team does really good and it's just uh, I'm very blessed. Before Neal became a three-time Super Bowl champion, he was a four-time All-American, a two-time Division I national champion, and a world champion in wrestling, becoming the most decorated wrestler in CSUB history. Wrestling was just something I just started doing kind of on a dare. And uh, started wrestling, and then, and then the coaching staff at Bakersfield saw me. I took fourth in the state meet, and they gave me an opportunity to come up to Bakersfield, and, and it was a great opportunity because I was surrounded by a lot of tough guys and the thing I love about Bakersfield is the the, the people they, they are a tough uh, gritty pe uh, people up there and uh, I wanted to be that type of person and, and that's what drew me to Bakersfield and I had a great experience and I still enjoy going back and seeing seeing friends and and being a part of that community. After graduating from CSUB Neil was at a crossroads. I won the world championships and so I was thinking Olympics and I trained for the Olympics and um, I got shut down I took second in the trials and I failed to qualify and the next year I was going to get revenge, I was going to get McCoy back, and he beat me again. But Neil's lifelong dream wasn't to make it to the Olympics, it was to play in the NFL. And after making a few phone calls in 2001, the New England Patriots gave him a shot. So I went to training camp and I really didn't know what was going on. I hadn't played football for five or six years and this is a little bit different level than high school. You know, uh, Unfortunately, they didn't have any room on the roster that year and so they let me go, but they told me, we want to bring you back. Then Neil got the call to be on the Philadelphia Eagles practice squad. He got reacquainted with football during his time with Philly, but the Patriots soon made good on their promise. Patriots brought me back and started practicing with them and I was on the roster and we went to the Super Bowl. It was amazing, amazing first year of football. You know, I'm a wrestler last year sitting on a, a couch with my dog and next year I'm sitting on the sidelines in the Super Bowl watching, watching the game. It was, it was amazing. The first three seasons were challenging and injury riddled for Neil, but he finally got to take the field in his third Super Bowl trip in 2005, starting at right guard as the Patriots took on the Eagles. The first time I was in the huddle, I, I kind of had a little doubts about myself and I look around and, and everyone in there, they had total confidence in me. And so when you're a leader um, like a Brady, the people like myself for the first time being in the huddle, I can, I can sense if someone has doubt. And, he didn't have doubt in me and he, he trusted me from all the work we had to put in for, for the years uh, prior. And so he, he leads by example, he's a competitor and uh, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to get to play with him. The Pats beat the Eagles in that game 24 to 21 and Neil earned his third Super Bowl ring. The fourth and final Super Bowl trip for Neil came in 2008 in Glendale, Arizona against the New York Giants. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun until the very end. <laughs> right before halftime, I got, uh, Brady got tackled into my knee and so the doctors thought I had messed my knee up real bad and so I didn't get to finish the game. And so I was standing on the sidelines with a crutch and watching all this craziness ensue. Disappointed for my teammates like a Junior Seau, uh, Randy Moss, Wes Welker, those guys had, had gone the whole season and were hoping to get that Super Bowl ring for their career and, and we were unfortunately unable to deliver for them. Neil started 81 of the 86 games he played with New England from 2001 to 2010. With shoulder injuries continuing to plague him, Neil retired from the NFL after the 2010 season. 
Today, he's busy raising his three kids with his wife, Jody. He spends his time volunteering in his kids' classrooms, serving as a mentor for Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and he continues to support CSUB Wrestling by hosting his annual fundraising event an evening with Stephen Neal, the first Tuesday of every May. This patriot fought with all he had to realize his dream, and as Neal looks back on his incredible journey, all he can say is he's been blessed. I try to have fun because you can never get those years back. And, and whether it's your destiny to be an NFL player or to have another path, um, God's got a plan for you and, and just enjoy the ride.